back. So now we have an architect job and running looking something like this. This is something you guys can reuse. You can copy this exact structure. You can clone the architect as it is right now. Change a few services around, change the way we write, make the repositories, add some other business entities than the one I used. And then guess what? You can start building your program. One more thing we need to do, and that's going to be in the next series, we're going to replace the UI with an actual REST API instead so that we can start sending this into the internet so that people can start using this from the outside, on their phones, on a, on a computer, anywhere they want, in a browser. They can start using our beautiful service that we're going to provide in the next series. This is awesome. This is freaking awesome. And we can start discussing if this is overkill for smaller applications like the normal to-do apps. It might be, and also some companies will also say this is overkill for their solutions. But this is when we start talking bigger applications, this makes more and more sense. So I hope you guys can use this and I hope you guys can understand most of it because in the next series we're going to try and use this architecture by actually start starting to create real database tables that are going to do real data and then we're going to ship it and send it over the wire. That's the entire next series, what that is all about by using the web API or the MVC solution in the .NET Core to actually make a REST API. So see you next time where we'll do a lot more on c -sharp building web applications where we'll start shaping our REST API using this architecture. And another one thing I just want you guys to know, you can easily clone my project and I'll try and show you that in the first video or the second video in the next series. See you next time where we'll start using all of this madness we built within the last 50-ish videos. Have fun.